and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen thank you all for stopping by we are going to be playing Far Cry 5 Dead Living Zombies DLC tonight now yes I know we didn't reach our $20 goal we had a few extra dollars so we went ahead and got it so but do feel free to donate so we can purchase the Hours of Darkness DLC which will be the last installment that we need to purchase for Far Cry 5. Now, I know most of y'all did enjoy the Lost on Mars DLC, so thank you for that support. But, uh, yeah, y'all make sure you keep uh, hitting that like button, follow button, subscribe button, and hit up that comment section during our streams. I do appreciate any and all support from everyone who stops by. All we're doing right now is getting our... Twitch chat uh, set up and ready and we will be ready to rock and roll and we'll be good to go as always you hit that subscribe button you hit that follow button you will get your notification on the screen you will get your shout out alright you donate you get a shout out to say thank you very much for all the support it's appreciated okay uh, uh, but like I said, if you want to donate five dollars, twenty dollars, all together, it don't matter. Whatever y'all want to feel like donating, it is well appreciated. It is a great tip, and it all goes towards the proceeds for the streams, purchasing the games, purchasing the DLCs. I mean, that's all your donations go to, folks. Now, as always, if you're having trouble hearing me, you need to let me know, cause I won't know if you don't tell me. Okay. I am using my microphone since we are playing a uh, DLC walkthrough. We're not playing any, uh, any like an FPS, anything like that. We're not playing <sighs> competitive game. We are playing the Dead Living Zombies. So do feel free to hit that comment section up below, and we're gonna have us a good time. All right. Here we go. We're gonna get this on a roll. Do say hi, do say hello, stop by. If you don't say anything, I don't know you're there. There we go. Dead living zombies. And always, I do apologize for the 45 second delay between what I see and what y'all see, okay? But I do see your comment as soon as it is commented on, and I do reply immediately, and then you will see and hear my comment as we go. <laughs> So, let's get this show on the road. We are going to press enter. And see where it goes. In a world where zombie movies were done to death, one man found a way to breathe life into the genre. He fucking... And it disappeared. Alright, so from the looks of it, we have Fields of Terror, then Burned Bridges, Undying love. Escape from the rooftop. Killer climate. The fast and the fiendus. And then Laboratory of the Dead. A Guy Marvel feature film. So let's see what we can get into with this. I guess we gotta start off with Guy Marvel prevents, presents Fields of Terror. And you can play these solo and co-op. That's what's up. Uh, we are going to be playing solo, so. Let it begin. And again, I do apologize for not starting at 8.30 for those of you who were waiting. It was just... Dinner ran late, getting done, and really enjoyed it. Oh, ribs, mashed potatoes, and corn on the cob. Delicious! Gotta love them pork ribs. They were yummy, yummy. Oh, hey, have I got a script for you? This thing is grade A pure gold. It's like Return of the Living Dead meets Bridges of Madison County, only better. Close your eyes and picture this. A top-secret military aircraft carrying top-secret cargo fucking explodes in mid-air after an engine malfunction. And the debris rains down over a secluded wheat farm in the middle of nowhere. 
What's this top secret cargo, you ask? Dead soldiers that have been reanimated into zombie super soldiers. The echoing explosion wakes up the missus, and she's like, Oh, honey, what was that? You didn't go outside. I'll check it out. But that's a bad idea, because our super soldier zombies are ready for war. Ah, the zombies are my fucking fail. This farmer is now the last line of defense to prevent a global, global, global zombie, zombie. Outbreak! 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 Run! I'll take care of this shit! So far, intense. Now we haven't played this before. It's the middle of Middle so. America. Zombies on the doorstep. Our farmers got, like, mysterious containers to shoot up. Let's call them mutation stations. Alright, I guess we ain't gonna be able to get nothing else. We got another med kit though. It's a foggy night, and uh, I bet make it a clear night. The lens flares will look much better. Yeah, I love it. Your cinematic signature is gonna be all over this. Getting a little crowded with these zombies. And these mutation stations would have glass capsules filled with zombie making goo. I can just imagine our hero busting open that glass with some bullets. Ah! It's so fucking badass. Suck at the shooting. Get the backpack. Mother. Damn. Got him. I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. We'll do this one. Our 
hero gets to the shed and has to deal with more zombies. Mm, we need a set piece here. It's not a shed, it's where they store gas. Yeah, that is the kind of mainstreamness that this idea needs. It's a little rough. Getting a little rough with it. And shaboom! I gotta lie, this game makes you think you're not gonna be able to make it. But, I think we'll survive. Everyone who's just tuning in from what you missed, we've already destroyed two of these mutation stations. And uh, that's it. It's our first time playing through here, so thanks for stopping by. Our heroes at the flaming wreckage. Ooh, what's that? It's a zombie with its skull opened, brain exposed, and it's leaking toxic goo. Hmm, that's gross. <laughs> you want me to explain what happens when our hero headshots him? Nah. I'm good. Then, our hero finds a super shotgun! I think of the boomstick from Army of Darkness, but like, with more boom. In the woods, the mysterious coup is making dead dogs come back to life. No, audiences will not like the idea of dead dogs. Did I say dead dogs? I mean, I mean like zombie wolves.
19. It don't have to be in. Avoided. You get a zombie! You get a zombie! You get a zombie! Everybody get zombies! Terrestrials. Yeah, so, so I know you did similar stuff in that TV show, but imagine it was done better. I won awards for that show. And you lost a bunch. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to pass. Your idea was pretty basic. I'm the one responsible for the pizzazz. <laughs> Come on! I guess we're moving on to the next pitch. Guy Marvel movie. Burned bridges. Ba ba ba. First off, huge fan of your award-winning character-driven war movies. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about making one that's so intense it'll give the audience PTSD? Get ready for the best elevator pitch ever given in an elevator. Picture this. An elite backup team. They're fucking lighting up the undead on a dilapidated bridge. They're isolated, surrounded by water, but they give no fucks because they're the best. Yeah, we fucking rock! Eat shit, zombies, scum! <laughs> Killing zombies? Yeah, they can do that all day. With the right support, of course. But sometimes, support fucks up. Supporting. Oops. You guys dropped us on the wrong side! We'll send my guys ahead! We're gonna need ammo! What happens when the bullets run dry and mission annihilation turns into mission survival ization? Only way we're gonna live is by surviving! Hmm, a war where the enemy's already dead. That's half interesting. Only half. 
Our hero has to get to the ammo drop. Or else they die and become the enemy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this. Imagine the 405 and the 101 fucked each other. This bridge would be the offspring. So it's moving backwards. So our hero goes by the corpse of a squad mate. Next to him is a sweet ass weapon. You're focusing on the weapon and not the fallen comrade? Oh, our hero knew this guy would be the first to go. Okay, so the hero's at the source of the zombie outbreak. No humans around, right? No dialogue, just a zombie massacre. Just a zombie massacre? <laughs> There's these mutation stations, and goo, and mayhem! Let's make sure we've got everything.
So, a gas truck leaked gas, and now it's a road of fire, baby! But what does this mean to the hero? Uh, the fire represents the, the, their anger issues. It's, instead of dealing with it, they're, they're avoiding it? Okay. Okay, so then there's a flipped train. <gasps> Wait a minute! It's a, it's a fucking flipped gas tanker! <laughs> the, the explosion will make people shit themselves! Something about the main character? We are! They know how to explode things! Okay, there's a little more. The hero's got to find a way down. If you were to put the story beats on a graph, this would be the low point in the movie and <laughs> the bridge. In my career. You say something? Nope. Now, the hero finds themselves with literally nowhere to go. Literally. Maybe we can hear the hero's inner monologue. There's despair, loss, or they can just use a cool grappling hook! sees a giant cage what was in it maybe the cage can remind the hero of their time as a prisoner of war sure and the zombies here represent i, I, I don't know the, the the people they saw die interesting sees that a zombie has turned their buddy into an all-you-can-eat buffet. And how does this make the character feel? Hopefully it grows the fuck out. So far, so good.
Oh boy. Okay, so the hero has to cut through a homeless hideout inside the bridge. Zombies are there having a freaking zombie feast! What are you trying to say here about the homeless issue? Uh, that homelessness is, is bad. Really going out on a limb with that, huh? Good luck! Homelessness is a real important issue for me. I want everyone in the world to have a home and a shelf filled with Blu-rays of all the movies I make. True humanitarian, folks. <laughs> rainbows I like. Oh yeah, you, you like the rainbows? The rainbows are pretty. Not the puppy. Not the puppy. I guess I don't need health packs. You really don't need them for this. Mr. Dubs. And the main character gets to the ammo drop, and there's da -da -da -da! <laughs> a new gun. One more character? How about a fucking zombie Sasquatch character? No. Oh, plot twist. <laughs> In your bite your face, zombie. Oh, for the love of God, a zombie Sasquatch. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Toast. <laughs> That's cool, right? It ends on a duel with a monster. No, our hero sees a way out. Uh, I really didn't. Oh, I did not. That I did not. All right, so we got this shotgun pistol. Oh, hey, Kimbo. Oh, we can drive? Well, are we supposed to be able to drive into the Bigfoot? Hello, welcome to the stream. Make sure you say hello. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to work. You're near...
gonna light them up, 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 light them up, up, up. I'm on fire! Explosion everywhere. It's <laughs> getting a little, just a little shoot 'em uppy right now. Yeah, like I was saying, if y'all are out there, say hello or something. Let me know you're out there. I don't know you're actually watching, unless you say hello. I see the view counter up there. Mr. Dubs over there is the only one I have seen that I know is out there. Out of our four viewers. Five, including the person over there on Twitch. I didn't forget about you. I just ain't heard nothing from you. Take a wider turn since everyone seems to be dropping in that particular spot. Hey, imagine whip. Blah. Imagine wagons. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a pretty sweet name. Imagine wagons. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping by. Saying hello. Okay, we're gonna be here for at least 45 minutes probably. Just shooting up things. No? No? We're clear? Am I going to get out of this and get a last minute jump scare? No, nothing, no secrets, no nothing. No Alrighty then, let's proceed. So, the hero sees a checkpoint. It's the end. Or is it? Dun, dun. <laughs> or it's from my one of my favorite movies, The Curls. Let's see where this goes. I don't think we want to be here anymore. What does our hero find at the end? Another soldier who sees our hero as just another, another zombie. Bam! Headshot. Roll credits. <laughs> Damn, um, get a pass. that would suck. Seems heavy on the action and light on character development. Speaking of development, huh? How about a development deal? How about you leave now and I won't press charges? Yeah, that's a that's actually a fair enough deal. I would take that. One. This pitch is fucking done. And next one we'll be doing. Death won't do then. <laughs> Death won't do them part. Undying love. And then we still got one, two, three, four, five. Five more to go, so as long as y'all stick around with us, we just may be able to make this through. Oh, let me go back with this. We gotta get a certain score or something to unlock these. What? High score solo, high score co op. I guess you don't rack up a high score until uh, you played it again, I guess. I don't know. If your first one doesn't count, alright. So, Death Won't Do Them Part, Undying Love, a Guy Marvel movie, Ubisoft Presents, a Guy Marvel production, production Tony. Grow boat out. Fiona Louis. Okay, let's just play. Alright, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna just play. And y'all don't forget if you haven't already, hit that like button on this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and if you really want to get into something fun, go check out the Facebook and Twitter page to keep up to date and also try our Discord. Our Discord's pretty fun too. 
Listen, I know you're the number one chick flick director in Hollywood. I think of them as sprawling romantic epics. Sprawling romantic epics. I got epics. an epic supernatural love story for you. Picture this. We rip off Romeo and Juliet ba, 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 ba. and set it in a zombie-filled world. Huh, that's halfway original. Romeo's gang is turbo-pissed and grabs him. They put him in a coffin. They gotta bury him alive, not because he banged the enemy, but because he fell in love. Romeo's gonna die and turn into a limp dick zombie. The ultimate punishment. Julie hey, I do see we did get a new uh, subscriber out there. Appreciate the subscribe. It didn't come up on the screen for some reason, but I see you out there. Nope, we lost it. Yep, there it is. 41 subscribers. Thank you, whoever you were. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit up them comments section below. So, Juliet has to fight her way through the graveyard. Because Romeo is being buried alive by his own gang. I got it. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. That's some beautiful graffiti right there. Is it not? Look at that Mustang. Ugh. What's that say? At least break. I wanna I wanna drive. I wanna drive. Alright, fine, we'll walk it out. Now walk it out. Now walk it out. We'll walk it out. We'll walk it out. We'll walk it out. We'll walk it out. There's a very defiled graveyard, folks. Messed up little place. It did put some good work into this. Good effort. gonna be set in this big spooky ass graveyard these supernatural love stories always seem so silly to me nah, it's no laughs here that look this thing has brain thirsty zombies trying to eat Juliet so sure the graveyard's the like a perfect place for my Hitchcock style cameo it'll be a statue that's an expensive cameo how can you put a price on art Maybe we weren't going the right way. Hello, welcome over there on Twitch. How's it going? Appreciate you stopping by. Of course, there's his little cameo right there. Yeah. Hitchcock style cameo. Just with the red shirt. Oh, lovely. Let's see if there's anything useful back here. No, can't throw a fence. Nothing. So when I see it in my mind, like we do all these uh, these little romantic moments all over the graveyard. Do people think romance wow. in a graveyard? Zombie Fuck love. yeah, man! It, uh, come on, it's something in our reptile brains. See death, think about making life. How do you make life? Pa -pa, bang it! Exactly. You're not American if that's not what you think. You can't kill him either. What a ripoff. Alright, let's go run over here real quick. So we passed it up a little bit. Thinking we gotta go that way. But you know, let's see what's over yonder way. Alright, I guess it's not gonna let us go this way. Dealio, dealio. Can't go this way either. Alright. But it's gonna let us go this way. So, then, 
Juliet goes down to a crypt that connects to the sewers. What does this have to do with Romeo and Juliet's story? <laughs> oh, it is important. Yeah, it's their romantic hideaway. They do each other down there sometimes. You know, pokey pokey. So how's that for character building? An oasis from the chaos above. I can see it. Damn. Yeah, we're a little close for comfort. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't wanna waste it down here. Yeah, we can grab them out of here. Okay. Just being the hero. Juliet save me, you know I'm about to be in love. Break the damn lock. Apparently not. All right. Fill that third looking slot. Let's try a little better. Hot club parkour. Let's give it a try. He's caught on fire a little bit. <laughs> Visual guide to firearms. <laughs> I 
I don't really like AKs. We have these big zombies, behemoths. They throw pus and have jacked up arms. Basically, my agent. cool part where Julia remembers that she hit something sentimental nearby so she uses her grappling hook to get it grappling hook why because grappling hooks make everything more badass huh So far, so good. We haven't died yet. sees a sentimental grenade launcher. That's sentimental? <laughs> I'd say so. I'd say it's about as sentimental it gets in some places. This is the best anniversary gift ever! And yet we still can't break open the Oh, we can climb over that, though. Then, we see mutation stations. An evil corporation made goo that reanimates the dead. How is that for pizzazz? To me, fluff like this really distracts from what's really just a simple story of two people. I'm trying to make the whole two lovers against all odds thing more against all odds -y. Bob and Wee, baby, Bob and Wee.
fucking suck. Woo, got it. Barely, but we got it. And now, the only thing standing between the lovers is a church. Just the church. Let me guess. Juliet has to climb over it using her superpowers. A nice idea, but I want it to be more grounded in reality. There'd be scaffolding all around the church. Whew, okay. By the way, I see you stopping by over there. How's it going? What's up? Hit that comment section up. Let me know who you are. Who is that? Hype Man, just subscribe. Hype Man, appreciate you. Say hello, something. That's pretty awesome. That makes two new subscribers so far tonight. I don't know who the other one was, but Mr. Hype Man is the newest one. Thank you very much. Alright. And there we go. I think if I fall down there, I might not be getting back up. So, yep. Alright. Yep. Unnecessary jumps, but it felt necessary to me. And then. Juliet sees her lover's coffin and the gang try to bury him. Let me guess. She has to kill them all. Exactly! We are totally on the same wavelength, my man! Okay, Mr. 50 Cal. Alright, yeah! uh, let's see what else we're doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody pop out of somewhere. I see three of them. Today, Satanimus. Sniped. Right in the chest. Hmm. I know he's in there, but maybe I should have. Uh... It's just trying to stock up on the ammo. Alright, sweetheart, Julia don't worry. I'm coming! Alright, you gotta be, you gotta get that t shirt first. I'm not Shumalan, baby! I'm not Shumalan. is a mashup of all the monsters you can think of. The, the dude's ugly as fuck, but love conquers Frankenstein, all. Frankenstein, werewolf. This story can only come from the mind of an old virgin. Frankenstein, whoa, werewolf. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, who I am else? a lot of things. Dracula. But I ain't no virgin. Zen. I'm not old. I just don't snore Botox every day like you. Oh look, security. Why don't get we get? Why don't we get to fight that thing? I want to fight it. I do. The ultimate death is waiting for you upstairs. Escape from the rooftop. All right. I guess that's gonna be it for the third installment. Now the next one will be Escape from the Rooftop. And we'll have Killer Climate, The Fast, and The Fiendious, and Laboratory of the Dead. And we've only been streaming for an hour and two minutes, okay. 
That's not bad. I appreciate you stopping by. I see we got six viewers over there on YouTube right now. One over there on Twitch. Howdy, howdy. We've already got two subscribers tonight, doll. Don't forget, if you want to be a part of that 100 subscriber giveaway, you need to like the video. You need to be subscribed or following over there on Twitch. All right? And at least check out the Twitter or the Facebook page so we'll be able to get a hold of your information and post there as well on who the winners will be whenever we do the random drawing. Uh, I'm pretty much I'm going to do it through the comments section below to be able to pull them out. Yes, this game is disappointing, but I am enjoying it, really. I mean, we did the Lost on Mars DLC. That was not disappointing. That was far from disappointing. This one, it's just something to play for playing for Far Cry 5 sakes. It's a little enjoyable. Uh, Fields of Terror, I thought, it was, I thought these were going to be a lot longer than they are. I mean... They're just like little short, breathe, run through, play through type things. And it's, it, they're not really going like I thought they would be. But I'm enjoying it because it's Far Cry 5. It's got that little bit of comedy humor going in there. And it's not too bad. It's, it's disappointing to play. It's disappointing to watch. But you still enjoy it at the same time, in my personal opinion. But anyways, yeah, the the giveaway once we get a hundred followers or 100 subscribers whichever one we will do a giveaway whether it be a, a steam purchase card you know a little gift card on steam add you on there as a friend purchase something for you maybe something iconic or fun maybe uh, any of the Harry Potter fans out there if you follow on the social media page we'll uh, get you a Harry Potter mystery wand yeah mm -hmm. But on to part four. Look, standard action movies aren't cool anymore. Who are you? Get off my yacht. You and I should make a brand where movies, books, musicals, clothing, mouthwash, you name it, are all connected in a cool way. Security will be here in a minute. That's all I need. It's the Guy Marvelous Cinematic Universe, and it all starts with one movie. Picture this. It's the year 2080. The world as we know it has been completely overrun by the living dead. Civilization has taken to the skies. For all the remains below is hell on earth. Those who've survived find themselves amidst a new war. One between the militia, our good guys, and the vulturemen. A street gang. Um, no, wait, it's uh, like, uh, like a rooftop gang. Fighting like for control gang. of the new world. Sky world. Hey, welcome to the stream over there on YouTube. See the you popping in. Doubled, which, which only serves to feed and strengthen the zombie population. The only way to ensure a future is through peace. Will the two sides come to an agreement, or will zombies attack? <laughs> hero is the last man standing. I like the setup. This can be an allegory. <laughs> it's gonna be allegory, all right. <laughs> all right, let's see what we get into. Get this Why I don't use the Mac Tinner. All right, all right, all right. Enough goof around. So, our hero's got to fight off like a million zombies. A million? While the chopper's swinging back around. Yeah!
I feel this lacks the courage to say anything about any real problems. The real problem I'm addressing is entertainment. Think about it. If I'm picturing it correctly, it's just carnage. What are you trying to say here? You have a message? Yeah, my message is, hey audience, thanks for the catch. Look at this cool shit and forget about your worthless life for two hours. All right, that's enough zombies. What's next? What's next? A fucking high-powered machine gun? Maybe you can say something about guns. I am! I I'm gonna say no other movie has ever made shooting up zombies look this fucking cool! Hot order of zombies coming up! Let's fucking spice this shit up! <laughs> He's a spice in the ball. Cooling down, cooling down, and it's good. Sprinkle a couple of zombies here! Cool down, cool down, and... Da -da 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 the Walking Dead come in! Ah, fuck, I mean, I, I can't say that because of copyright! Fucking lawyers can't let you do anything these days! Something happens here. Car! Fucking boom! Well, done don't sound like a first alert. <laughs> oh, bastard. So, after the machine gun, the chopper lands. No, 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 not yet. I can't land! The radar's picking up something heading your way! And then, just when we think things can't get any worse, up from the air vents comes zombie wolverines! Zombie wolverines. You could address the polarizing nature of climate change. Nah, 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 nah. What I am doing here is setting up the third sequel, The Rise of the Wolverine King. <laughs> and then I want to I like do this pyrotechnics for the sequence so that like, let's give the hero a flamethrower. Like all-American, lycanthropic barbecue, baby! <laughs> Finished with the Wolverines and the Chopper lands, right? Oh shit! You got more hostiles inbound! Seriously? More? It's the Vultures! Our rooftop gang! I mean, since there's no zombies around, they blame our hero for the massacre! He killed our people! Way step! Kill the Chosen One! 
I'm sorry, what now? See, our hero is the chosen one. And that's gonna pay off in like a six spin-off slash sequel. The Age of the Chosen Ones. Civil War Part One. Now the chopper comes in. Flies off to the sequel. You're ending this on a sequel. There is more. The guy Marvelous Cinematic Universe has like 50, 60 years worth of movies. Easy. I got outlines. I'll pass. At this point in my career, I want to do something with more substance. <laughs> Come on! You're telling me that cool isn't a substance. I'm telling you to start swimming. Well, there's that one, folks, and next on our list is Killer Climate. Tab, click it, click that, and now everything's back up to tune. Click it is up and get off. Alright, alright, let's keep looking, check on stuff. Hey, hello, we got two viewers over there on the Twitch. Let's see if we update it, see what it says, what it looks like. We've had quite a few viewers popping over there. I appreciate it. Alright, alright. Shibadoo, shibada, shibadoo, beep, beep, boo. Now we got this up and rolling. Alright, that is four out of seven games down. Alright, that's four out of seven. So, seeing as we've already been doing it for an hour and 16 minutes, let's go ahead and do Killer Climate. And then, uh, depending on where we're at or how long this takes, we'll probably end up uh, leaving these two for a part two. But I know I at least want to do one more. And it's only been an hour and 17 minutes. But, you know, people stop by. People want to see more. We'll finish them all up. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll get into trying to get some high scores and leaderboards. But again, also, please do let me know if my audio is messed up or anything so I can fix it. Thank you so much. You're not my driver. Uh, yeah, hi there. I'm Guy Marvel. And first off, it, it is an honor to be pitching to an award-winning visionary director. Uh, it's another nobody with an idea. Picture this. 
It's a national park. It's peaceful, serene. Yeah, yeah, like your typical normal day. We follow a good old American family. The hero should be a park ranger. But it, it's about a family. So you're just gonna tell me your idea and I'm supposed to shut up? And, uh, you know, we, we can make it about a park ranger. Yeah, that, that's fine. This, though, look, it's all about the message. Climate change. A heat wave thaws out a strange ooze. It's tainted rivers, the soil, the animals, you name it. After decades of Mother Nature like bliss? Blocked, she is giving birth to zombies! Uh, this is one of those movies. <sighs> damn right it's one of those movies. Yeah, yeah, damn right, right it is. Our bank accounts, huh? Fine. I'll entertain the idea of doing lowbrow garbage. So our park ranger hears the distant scream of a family. He's got to go check on him, right? Uh, Jolly G. Willikers out here screaming off in the distance. Best gone figure out what's going on then. Okay, so we Seeing start in the Seeing his eyes ain't got nothing else tower. to do. I have a better idea. What if the main character was the owner of a bar? You see, the zombies consume the life essence of the living, but they don't live themselves. I'm seeing a place where they can relax. There's zombies. <laughs> this one's I, I getting think on you're my nerves. More brain function than they actually have. Even the smallest creature with the smallest brain can appreciate <laughs> art. And uh, W.T. Fuck, dude. This is a zombie movie about about the environment. Can I just walk you through my idea? Nobody really owns ideas, but fine. On with it. Okay, so we're this park ranger and we come down from our tower you said something interesting there the park ranger had to come down from his tower have you ever read my manifesto i, I bought it but look i haven't finished it yet been busy you know life zombie wolf hello over there on twitch and youtube thank you for stopping by make sure you hit that comment section so i know who you are No skin for pelt. We just kill to survive. Kind of like Firewatch meets Dawn of the Dead. Oh, you fucking badger. That's a Wolverine. Hmm, hiking trail? Rock climbing trail. No fucking bastard. Yo, Trips, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for stopping by, Shot. guy. Our hero takes the shortcut to the cabin. Of course. The good old American way. Take a shortcut. This way ain't easy. There's some awesome climbing. And then our hero sees the toxic goop seeping through the rocks and... <laughs> Love the visual. It's so pedestrian. It's what I'd expect an art student to come up with. For the love of God. Regular wolves were a hell of a lot easier to kill than the zombie wolves. Who the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go this way. Yeah. Oh, we got a George the Jingle at eye. the distance on that one of a show. Grapple? No grapple. We got a shimmy. Up 
looking nowhere else already already. There we go. Make sure we get a good run and swim. I think this story would be better told at night. No! Man, it's gotta be during the day! The audience has to actually see the environment! This whole movie is a message on the environment! But the darkness at night is more ominous. I want it to be set during the day. Night! Day! Night! I'm no, just anyone have having epilepsy, down. please do cover your eyes. Over the course of one day! Got it? That is it! Fine! Okay, now that mommy and daddy are done arguing. Looks like we're gonna go diving here in a second. No fishing pole, no camera. Can't take the camera. Let's take that instead of... The old Cowboy 38. Guess we're going for a swim, folks. There's <gasps> some more stuff down here. What the hell? And then we cross paths with a the zombie, zombie bear. bear. I'm not surprised by that. Was it supposed to be a surprise? Well, maybe it's too quick enough. Oh. Hey Trips, thanks for subscribing. Sure to appreciate it. We got a fucking zombie moose too. Zed moose. It's fucking Bullwinkle! Get away from me, Yogi! You stuck? We gotta fight a zombie moose, huh? And he's down. Yes, my love. Just playing dead living zombies. And so far we've killed Bullwinkle. And we've killed a yogi bear. He was a zombie bear. It wasn't actually Yogi Bear. Even though that would be pretty cool if it was like Yogi Bear. Like, hey, boo boo, I'm gonna eat your brains too. <laughs> you even got a map on this? No, you can't even tap to check your map or nothing. Oh well. Oh, the freaking moose came up from over here. You explore a little bit at least. No, I guess just gave you more room to run from the bear. So is it gonna matter which way I go? We're gonna cross either way. Our hero sees zombie wolverines feasting on a moose. When I watch the movie in my head, I see the wolverines crying. They murdered the moose. They got revenge. I, I was seeing it as like just a moment. Drop that 40 on your doom. Come at me.
die, you Logan looking mother. You're so damn vicious. What? Anything else to do over here? Climb. Little hidden adventures. Just something to say I was able to climb back up in there. No hidden trophies or nothing. And some hardcore parkour. Mm -hmm. Reload. 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 Oh, what the hell? They got explosive tips on them. I could have been using this bow the whole damn time. Got the explosive tips on them. What the hell? I feel cheated. I'm going to use this 38. Morning. Hell. Okay. Something just manifested. What? Zomb Zombies? <laughs> We're gonna have another zombie set for lunch. Shoot the tune. Aha, uh -huh, the mutation station. That'll make shit interesting. Got him, coach. Bada bing, kaboom. Here it is. Near the house, the ranger sees the source of the problem. Oh, it is the toxic goo. It's infected the fresh water and created zombies. I like what we've built so far, but now I'm not really seeing the whole goo thing. I think if we crop out all of your ideas, we have something. I think we can take this idea and merge it with the ideas in my artistic manifesto. Maybe even show my book. What? Whatever, man. Fine.
Uh, got him. Hey out there, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, well, they're dead. I thought we cut that plot line. Mm, no, we don't want that one. Moving on. And by now in the film, it's night. Ah, why? It's foreshadowing impending doom. You want doom? How about adding a fucking blood dragon here to fuck that in the fuck up? What? A blood dragon? What the fuck? God damn. Okay, M. Night Shyamalan motherfucker. Fighting them, the zombies at least. There be a weapon right here. Is the zombie? Is the dragon on our team? Okay, I guess we're gonna hop in the car. He's in the car driving toward. I don't fucking know. You hijacked my Good idea and, and made it a masterpiece of shit. And you're the most annoying person I've ever met. I might be annoying. But at least I made it in Hollywood. Fuck you! Burn! Fuck! I'm gonna make it, asshole! Security! Get me away from this fuck face! The bitch is fucking dead. We're still here, folks. Just checking on some stuff real quick. And... Habooski! Let's try a... 
I have a feeling this is going to be a driving one. The fast and the fiendish. So let's go then. Fast and the fiendish. We start at the beach. Our hero doesn't have that much time to get to their lab. Much time? The hero should have practically no time. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Uh, whatever. So, yeah, the, the hero has to go through a trailer park in flames. I like that it's not a typical zombie setting. Uh, I don't know. I. Yeah, maybe with all this action, the, the critics won't like it. Fuck them. We should only care about the audience. Reviews mean shit. It's butts yeah, in the seat. The only one that's gonna like him. So the main character grabs this the little the shitty car. Come on. Don't cheap out on a race against the clock. Give me a real car. The dead you wish. seem to have lost some steam. Alright. Look, I the last person I pitched you really fucked with my head. <sighs> Spare me <laughs> thinking about giving up movie. the dream. Ah. You met a monster. Next time anyone acts like a monster to you. Become the bigger monster. You're right. All his ideas sucked. Fuck that guy. What's the drive up to the lab like? Car wreckage everywhere. Perfect for a thrill ride. And there's these big mutated zombies. Behemoths. The hero should avoid them. The clock's ticking. Yeah, every second counts. If the main character hits them, they'll explode. And uh, how about a construction site? Our hero hits the jump and wham! There's an explosion! Oh, oh, yeah. We don't have time to say! So then, our hero sees the mutation stations filled with the gooey shit that's turning people into zombies. Where are these things from? A countryless evil corporation. That's a smart move. This way, no country or people are made out to be the villains. Landslide! Boom! Time-wise, the hero's starting to turn into a zombie. So the driving sequence is done. There's a roadblock. Time's ticking away, and you'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Uh-oh! There's soldiers protecting the hospital! And they Oops. see our hero as just another zombie. Yeah, they don't know that he has the zombie cure in his brain. The main character's on the edge of being a zombie.
Ichiro has seconds left until he's full zombie. He makes the cure, stops the zombie outbreak, and remember that girl? He brings her back. He's able to turn all the zombies back into humans. Even the zombies he shot blew up or ran over. Fuck yeah! Total happy ending. Brilliant. It'll need a polish, but I want to direct this. That day changed my career. It's my first screen credit and paycheck. Hmm. Daddy, I want donuts. You want donuts? Yeah. It's 10.30 at night. How about this? If you're good, we'll get up early and go get donuts, huh? I want donuts. Baby, it's 10.30 at night. Don't nobody have donuts this late. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I want donuts. But there's nobody up this late. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the last one, Laboratory of the Dead. friend said we should meet so we're meeting sir i have to say it is an honor to be pitching to the king of the monster movies you done kissing my ass or should i book us a room come on kid give me the pitch picture this a top secret lab alarms are blaring something's gone wrong blood splatter here and there Stop. all over the walls chaos but we don't see anybody or anything just shadows Go sit down, baby. Smash cut to a red phone. Go it's ringing on a nightstand. Our hero's gonna pick it up. Yeah, she's a badass woman in a quiet suburban house. Yes, Mrs. President? Shit. Our hero's so important that she has a direct line to the president? The president goes, There's been an incident at a secret lab. If it gets worse, <laughs> the world will well, end. Sit in my chair, Our baby. hero says, On it. <laughs> Got me hooked so far, kid. <laughs> When Daddy's done here in a second, okay? Everything our badass hero needs is at the drop point. Including a gun, ammo, and a sweetened jet Art. ski provided Go by the US of A. I fucking love jet skis in movies. Daddy problems. Along the way, our hero follows these big industrial pipes that are leaking this uh, zombie, making goo. -hoo. Our hero gets near two lovers in the moonlight, having a little dip. Zombie bear attack! So then, we'd see uh, uh, the weird moose. No, wait. It's a zombie, zombie moose! moose. We can amp it up and hint what we're going to see at the secret lab. Right, 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 right. And, and uh, there's, a, there's a container, and goo is leaking out of it. Yeah, a bunch of hunters who were camping there are now zombies.
right? Hey, what's up, worm? How's it going? We always now, appreciate you stopping Archival by. Sees, they're almost at the base. The anticipation is killing me. Everything da, na, na, has been bad. Building da, na, na, up to this moment. There's a crash chopper there, right? Of course. No survivors. Our hero sees blood and guts. No, it and should blood. be R-rated blood and guts. <laughs> what about unrated, vomit-inducing, burned in theaters, blood and guts for the Blu-ray? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of blood. This is how you get AIDS, folks. we need here an obstacle all right so far we've got our hero guns blazing the hell out of everything huh so they they just have to find a way out okay okay so so then we see a zombie wolf just going to town on someone i'm talking all you can eat zombie buffet take that fluffy Alright, for those of you who are squeamish, look away! Okay, we need a big scare here. Perfect time for a behemoth zombie! Hmm. 
Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Then our hero walks into a room that's for experiments. Oh, yes, I love it. We had the mystery at the start. Now we're paying it off. This company is doing some seriously fucked up shit. It's it's a secret underground lab, right? Uh, we should feel trapped. Uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, 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 kleptophobic? Claustrophobic. Yeah, kleptophobic. Skadoosh. Totally worth it. hero finds a locker room filled with blood we're getting close to the finale kid make it a weapons locker oh yeah daddy likes
that's the one that it wanted. And now we're going to reload you. Make sure you're loaded. Picture this, a mutation station right in the middle of the room. No dialogue needed here. Fuck, I love that there isn't much dialogue in this movie. It's just this badass character solving a mystery and kicking ass. Still coming. <gasps> yeah, um, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's coming from further below. We must go deeper. So our hero gets to the edge and says... I guess no good deed goes unpunished. And plunges down below! I guess we're plunging down below. Our hero sees the source of the zombie-making <laughs> goo. And she's got to blow that shit up. Uh-huh. She is willing to make the ultimate sacrifice if it means the world will be a safer place. She... That's why people go to the movies, to see heroes do shit exactly like this. Through the fire and smoke, we see our hero. Yeah. That was a little anti badass woman. Our hero goes Very home after a long night of saving the world. Just as her eyes close, the bedroom door opens. It's her kid. Good morning, Mommy. Our hero smiles. It's fucking beautiful. I love the message, the character, the emotion, the everything. This is going to be an award-winning franchise, kid. Budget for a movie like this is huge, and you've never directed before, right? I made video games. Worthless. Yeah, what about directing something as a tryout? Yeah, I'm down for that. The first director ran off with a cult. So, how do you feel about Montana? That's what's up. Now unlocked for this pitch, score attack. Relive any pitch or play, score attack. This is, this pitch is fucking done. So two out of seven? Get them super fast credits rolling, gotta go hog, ain't gonna stop, baby, gotta keep it rolling hard, got that far cry, five dead living zombies rolling hard, going hard, baby, let's do this shit, we are gods. That's right, I can freestyle a little. 
So now we can do score attack. Do this one on score attack and see what the difference is. Field of Terror, score attack. I'm gonna run through this as quick as we can, I guess. We are doing score attack for those of you just tuning in. Appreciate you stopping by.
Okay, that's score attack. Damn, we almost got... We almost got the best score we could get on there. Damn! See, if we get that, the zombie goo past 12. Zombie goo, tractor, gore. Uh, tractor, gauger, gauger, gauger mask, gauger mask. Well, I don't think we did too bad on that. Hold on. Let me see if we can update some stuff. Alright. Well, I think we'll be able to do more with this here in the future. Yeah, I should probably say it wasn't updating nothing. I appreciate y'all stopping in, whoever's out there. Make sure you say hello. Make sure you hit up the comment section. Yeah. I guess we'd be able to do it, try to do it a little bit better. What's the difference on all the other ones? I'm gonna try to get different masks. Okay, so the more you play, the more stuff you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we've been streaming for two hours and 11 minutes now, so. We're going to give this score attack one more try to try to get this 25,000. And then we're going to call it night. So y'all cheer me on, root me on. Let's, do it. Let's try it one more time. So let's do this.
probably wasn't good enough either. Wow, 2458. <sighs> Alright, one more quick run through. Damn, I scored lower. Even though I cleaned up faster. <sighs> See, it goes off of headshots, behemoths, animals, humans, mutations, body shots, headshots, behemoth weak points. Uh, yeah, bastard. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I think that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you, everyone who's tuning in. Thank you, everyone who tuned in and stopped by. Especially Hype Man and Trips for subscribing over there on YouTube. I sure do appreciate it. Uh, I know we had a total of three new subscribers tonight. And uh, only one of them didn't pop up on here. But for sure, the two of them right there. We are now at 43. We got three new subscribers tonight. Trips. And Hype Man, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm glad you saw what you saw and you enjoyed it. And uh, whoever that uh, that mystery sub is, I appreciate you stopping by too. Make sure you hit up that comment section next time. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for the likes and the thumbs up that I've got out there. This is awesome. Sure to appreciate it. Uh, everyone who watches this later, this is Far Cry 5. Dead Living Zombies. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, we are going to keep coming back to this one and doing these... Uh, I don't know what the hell is it called right there. The score attack. As you can see, our highest one is 2458. And then we even did better. And we still only got like 23 on the second time around doing even faster. And to get these, you get these cool little uh, masks, costumes. And this one's the zombie goo tractor. And then... Each one, you get a three-star rate on them. You get something different. So that's cool and more fun that they did that to add it to it. So if you're just tuning in, thank you, but you're a little bit late. Still do subscribe. Check out the older videos. Watch this one over here in a minute. And we will see you in the next video. I do appreciate everyone stopping by. Uh, all the support helps. Don't forget, if you feel like donating, we are a verified PayPal account. So when you click on the donation, all donation proceeds... Go to the benefit of buying DLCs and other games to help improve this channel. And we'll be, you know, collected in abundance to going towards our free subscriber giveaway. I'm just kidding. That's not what they're for. They will be coming directly out of my pocket. Anything for the subscriber giveaway. As soon as we hit 100, we will do anyone who is liked, followed, and subscribed you'll be entered for a chance. All right, we'll do a video where it will be all right. Thanks for stopping in. This is the giveaway. We are going to select our lucky random winner from it, and that's where we'll go from there. So thank you, as always, for stopping by. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you stop by again later. Turn on those notifications if you subscribe, and we will see you all in the next stream. You all have a good one, and be safe, and we'll see you later. You all have a good one. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's my that's my exit tro. <laughs> all right, well, y'all have a good lovely Monday afternoon. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Don't forget to check out the Twitter and